So in part 4 we're going to continue on and let's solve a few items first of all like these kind of duplication of it. So let's scroll down here and let's work on this specific item. So what we want to do here is basically only one part. Remember we had here to check if it exists and if it does exist do something or else do nothing or at least what we have to do here is basically remove the old legend and then update everything. That's basically what we're going to do here. So what we're going to say here in this, very simple, we're going to say here, remove the old legend and what we're going, or legend items to be more specific. And we're going to say here, while, we're going to use a while loop here, while we have, so first child, so basically what I'm going to do, we're going to check if we have a first child in the unordered list. We just correct because if we have that, it means we have an item that we have created or a list item. So I want to remove the list item by doing it with a while loop with the first child. Saying if we can find any child at all, remove, or what we want to do then is remove that first child. So I'm going to say here, first child dot remove. There we are. So this will make sure that if we click on items, it will not anymore make more than seven because it deletes everything and then rebuilds again. So that is very nice. So now we have that tiny error here, here solved. We can now finally continue on with the most important part. That's this one here. So what I'm going to do now is start to work on the color box. And the color box, I'm going to say a constant, and we make this maybe a span, a no, I guess what we can do here is circle span or box span. I'll just say the box span, which is basically a span element. Say a document dot create the element. And then we're going to say here span. We'll make a span element. And then of course I want to give this box span the class name equals box span. Very simple and straightforward. So once we have this here, what I also need is what we call here basically the uh, color. What is the color? Because right now if I save this and refresh, all right, nothing happens yet, of course. We can give it the color, but I realize that when we have this element, let's implement it first. So we're going to say here in the li, what I'm going to do is append a new child, and that child is our box span. So basically we have now a new item we put in here. So if I save that, refresh, all right, so maybe I want to change that here, put it there, save that, and let's see if it works. So the li has the class of li, and, and that one has a span with the class name of box span. So that's number one. Remember, we have a color and we have a text. So what I want to do as well is add up here a text container. So we're going to say here, underneath your the text, we're going to say constant text container or anything you want to give it, label text, will be document that create the element of a paragraph P. And we're going to say here, uh, text container class name equals text container. Very creative. And of course, if we do that, what I want to do as well is make sure that the li will have the text container. So this is very important. If I want the text before the legend or the color box, I have to make sure that this span box will be second and the text container will be first. So first the text come and besides that, the color box. So, but in this case, I want to copy the structure we have above. First the circular shape that I'm going to make and then we're going to make the text afterwards. So we're going to say here first the 10 but the, the span box will be added and then the text container. Save that, refresh, let's see here as you can see here now we get this. Of course it is still blank. So now we have this and in the next video we're going to start adding the colors and adding the text in here.